Welcome to this Lent course in the Year of the Bible. I hope you will enjoy the course and that it will deepen your understanding and knowledge of the Bible, the Word of God, and give you an appetite for knowing more. But more particularly, as you make your way through Lent towards Holy Week, I hope that the experience of the death and resurrection of Jesus will come more vividly alive through the Word of God which has led you to it in this Lent course. I'm certainly pleased because coming into the Church of England from a different uh, ecclesiastical tradition, one of the things that has been slightly concerning for me is that uh, where I've been uh, uh, accustomed to a tradition of word and sacrament, I come into the Church of England down, down here and what I uh, experience is word and sacrament. Uh, and so I'm very pleased to, that the, the bishop is encouraging us to think of this as the year of the Bible, when we appreciate just how important the Bible has been in the creating of our tradition and in our continuing worship. As we encourage parishes to engage with Year of the Bible 2017, it's probably worth thinking, what is the Bible for? Um, I think sometimes people really struggle to see how the Bible relates to their own life and answer their questions, whether that's about assisted dying or um, GM crops, whatever it is, that there are no straightforward answers there in the Bible. Interpretation is required. But I don't think that's, that's the point of the Bible in a way. I, I think uh, it's far more exciting and dramatic um, from those uh, first words, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, to that last verse, even so, come Lord Jesus you're actually being invited into an extraordinary drama. It's not a, a, a manual of morals, it's God's action in the world and people's response to that action. Um, almost 100 years ago, actually, Karl Barth, the great 20th century theologian, wrote about the Bible. In it, we're offered the magnificent, productive, hopeful life of a grain of seed, a new beginning out of which all things shall be made new. Um, he called it a strange new world, which is far more exciting than a textbook of morals. The Bible's important to me for three principal reasons. One is that it introduces me to the central character of the Bible, which is Jesus Christ. It's a place where I can encounter him. Secondly, in the words of the missiologist Leslie Newbegin, it's about the way things have been, are and are to be. And it locates my life in that bigger story. And thirdly, it's more than a book. When once it's subject to being imbued by the Holy Spirit, then it speaks. It's the voice of God and it speaks to me. The Bible speaks to different people in different situations. If you think of people in, in distress, uh, Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want, etc. Uh, that speaks in a way that a sermon or a book will not, not speak. Uh, it gives us priorities for society, rich and poor, uh, warnings to rich, concerns for the poor, and so on. And in a day to day, in this day, we should remember particularly, it, it speaks about our responsibility to foreigners and strangers, the Good Samaritan. It's the priest and the Levite, the church people who walk past and don't attend to the person who has fallen among thieves. And who is it? Who does it? It's the good Samaritan, the distrusted foreigner, etc. Biblical literacy is very important for this day and age because we are now growing up with generations whose societies have been formed on the basis of biblical understanding and biblical values. The only problem is most people don't know it. They don't know that that's where their story, their values actually come from. And so we need biblical literacy among not just our young people, but our adults as well. The whole of Western culture is formulated from the Bible. We are very enthusiastic about introducing young people to the Bible, to that biblical literacy that I've just talked about. And you know what? There is no opposition or prejudice amongst children and young people to the Bible. They just don't know anything about it. And when you introduce Bible stories to little children through projects like Open the Book, they get really excited about it. 
When at the other end of the scale, you start introducing through uh, biblical theology at A level, through philosophy, through morals and ethics, the great concepts of the Bible, there's an equal excitement to the content of the Bible. And when you again explain to people that there are more adherents to religious faith throughout the world than those who are against it. You wouldn't necessarily know that in the West for all the noise that's made. That actually, without being able to understand the great truths and the great doctrines of those faiths which make our world tick, of which Christianity is a principal one, then we are actually heading for a very dangerous place. It's typically uh, the roots of our society uh, illustrated in the coronation when the Bible is handed to the Queen uh, by the moderator of the Church of Scotland uh, and so on. So it sets out the ideal of society and the priorities and so on. Uh, and uh, that is why it is so important. Uh, it gives us our, our history, history of uh, our understanding of, of, of God uh, and uh, the whole uh, impact of Jesus. Uh, that he made. Um, just imagine if we didn't have a Bible. How would we understand or know anything about God? How would we know about Jesus and the impact that he made? My personal hope for the year of the Bible is that people get excited, that people rediscover their Bibles, that first of all they start to read it, but more importantly then they really listen to it, that they get it and then that they pass it on because it's one of the best gifts that the Christian faith has to give to the world who badly need the wisdom, the truth, the understanding that are contained within its pages. I hope the Lent course will familiarise people with the Bible, how important it is at the roots of our society, as we said earlier on, uh, and uh, the importance of the principles it enunciates there and the priorities which we can easily lose sight of when we are simply following a prayer book and, and, and uh, repeating words, some of which we don't really understand, etc., etc. Thank you, Professor Don. And I hope for all of you, this Lent course will enliven your Holy Week and the celebration of the resurrection of Jesus Christ on Easter Day.